Welcome to the Safe Bar Golf Podcast, where two average golfers talk about golf and things. I'm your host, Eric. I'm your host, Dominic. We are currently on episode 143, and we'll cover the Creator Classic, discuss Lydia Ko's epic run, the FedEx play, uh, FedEx Cup playoffs, and so much more. Uh, Dom Dom, episode 143, Brunch Golf episode was awesome. We were just talking about beforehand, got to listen to some of it. Yeah, yeah I love those two dudes. Great guys. They're great guys. Great product. Which makes it even better. I was really upset. I don't know if you listened far enough in, but like I had wore my French shirt prior. It was in the bottom of my hamper. So I wasn't wearing it for the I hate when that happens. Yeah. I was like day before, oh. day late. I was like, oh, I should have worn it. And I was like, oh, it's in the hamper and it's dirty. And I'm like, oh they're no. not gonna smell it, but you just don't want to Well, it looked all wrinkly. Yeah. I was like, damn it. Um Dom Dom came up with a cool idea. We We've been, this is episode 143. We haven't really. I don't think we've ever like introduced ourselves. I don't think so. Because you're like, oh, maybe episode one. I'm like, I don't think we talked about it in episode one. Because in episode two, we sang Staying Alive. We did. Yep. Little uh, office style <laughs> Staying Alive. Um, so I kind of just threw something together, but I think you had a little more time to think about it. You want to kind of kick off with uh, what your intro would be? Your little profile? Or how were you wanting to? I don't know. I was just going to talk until you said stop. To be honest. Okay. Well, yeah. You just... So, hi, I'm Dominic. I am the brains behind the podcast. I'm not the brains behind Safe Park, so don't ask me about it. That is all Derek. You'd be amazed when people are like, oh, how did you start Safe Park? I'm like, I didn't. I oh, I get the same thing with the podcast stuff, too. Like, hey, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, this, this Dom Dom. Yeah, no, email me or DM me. Yep. Don't text me. That's weird. Um, My handicap is currently a 14.7. The lowest it's ever been. Nux. Um, I have not shot above 90 this year. That's good. Yeah. Good for you. What yeah. the fuck is happening? Golf, man. It's just an easy game. Ugh. Must be. Um, currently, my favorite club is my putter. It is the... It's I, I never remember because Mizuno is weird with how they name things. But it's the new Mizuno blade putter. It's blue. It is beautiful. And if it's not my putter, it's the four iron that I currently don't have in my bag because it's somewhere in the bottom of a lake. But I love that club. Which one is this? Did you not know about that? No. I was playing a golf course up by my cabin. When was this? This is the year before we went up to play. Oh, okay. Giant it's still relatively like recent. Yeah, unfortunately. And I thought I was hitting off of a big chunk of moss. No. It was a rock. I feel like I've heard this one, but I don't the, know. Did you just end up chuck it in the water ever? The head went flying. Flying. And I'm like, oh, look at that. It's like it's like the Will Ferrell. So like look at that, it's a bird. Um, except it went into a pond. So your seven iron broke too. You just have a bad club situation. Well, my seven, I mean, it's, yeah. It's back now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's back and it's although you know what's wild? My six iron has a different shaft than all my other clubs. It weighs more. The heavy six iron. My six iron is 30 grams heavier than all my other clubs. Dang. Do you seem to hit it better? If, yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. Weirdly enough. Um, okay. So, said my name. Yep. Handicap. Yep. Perfect club. Putter. What else are you doing? You're doing a walk-up song? Yeah, I figured what the heck. Why not? Oh, I mean, God. I don't really have a whole lot of time to, like, prepare, but I, th- I thought it was a really good idea, and I think it's nice. That if I could have one walk-up song for the rest of my life... Oh no. Um we'll skip it. Okay. Cause one song for it's you know you could just say like your current walk up song. Currently? Yeah. Um fuck, I don't know. We'll skip it. <laughs> um that's a, that's a Derek move right there. Fine. Because normally you're on it and I'm like, oh man, I don't know which one. You know what we're gonna do? Here, we're gonna go to my playlist. I was gonna say it's probably gotta be like a pop smoke song, like if you're like doing all time. Well, I mean, I guess we're yeah. doing all time. Let's do Invincible. Yeah. Pop Smoke. Yeah, yeah, I like You that. walk up to that or you walk up to Dior. Like, you don't even need, like, the words to Dior. Just give me the beat. Yeah, instrumental. I don't know. Just give me the instrumental to Dior, and I'm going to slice that drive 40 yards to the right. <laughs> um, oh, are you saying what you're bummed in for this year? Yeah. I figured we were going to talk about it. So I Yeah, I'm bummed I wasn't in the Creator Classic either. <laughs> Not that anybody asked, but, like, same. It would have been nice if they're like, hey, these two are doing, you know, a few things in life. Why not? But basically, I just want to introduce ourselves, you know, to those people who listen to us every week for the last 140 
three episodes once this one comes out. Yep. I don't think we've ever talked about it. Outside of golf, I take a lot of pictures. I'm an avid photographer. I love sneakers. I love all my shoes. Started to collect cameras. Shout out to my guy Daniel for hooking me on to Leicas. Or maybe not shout out. Fuck you. They're expensive. <laughs> Even though he's been on the pod. Uh, he and I didn't realize he had an M2. We have matching cameras, but mine's better because I have the M6 loading system in it. Oh, beautiful. Can't wait for him to listen slash watch this. I love you so much. Thank you, Daniel. Um, Yeah, not married. Don't have any kids. I'm a bachelor. Solo dolo. Living the dream. I mean, somebody's dream. I, somebody's dream. Is this my dream? It's sometimes. Like, on the day. like, if this is what we could do and get paid and be like, damn, they're pretty cool, yeah. I'd go for it. I but can't. then at certain times, I'm like, the people we've met along the way, the friendships and the bonds we formed along the way, some of that stuff I wouldn't trade. Um, some of it I would. Like, yeah, just one episode. I would, I would trade. Yeah, I think we know which episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's me in a nutshell. I know there's a little bit more to me than that. Um, we'll save that for another episode. Yeah, we'll like a little slight. Yeah, yeah, like like, myself. like I don't think I'm terribly complicated, but I do think I'm more in depth than I give myself credit for. Yeah, because there's a lot to me. Um, not to sound like very high maintenance, but yeah, I, there's always more right but yeah photography shoes cameras and then golf i love yeah. food and taco bell but food, I, i'm hoping so. i'm hoping everybody knows my taco I'll, bell okay you know speaking of that i just it just dawned on me like if you could get one non-golf related sponsor taco for, bell for the podcast so roger still just got sponsored by taco bell and he's living my dream you know what i was gonna ask you about that because i, I am thought he's been posting some stuff on his story i'm recently. pissed like, I talk about Taco strong. Bell weekly, and I go weekly. So uh, mine would have to be Chipotle. I know people. Well, would... hold on. So if we're gonna do non golf related, non golf related, Taco Bell would be cool, but what would be even cooler is like car sponsorship. Just film the podcast in the car. We like could the little mics. Although those little mics bother the hell out of so me. So you know what's funny? Like whenever <laughs> like this, I well, don't. I don't whenever know. I pull up with like the podcast like setup, they're like, "That's it." I'm like, "Yeah, isn't it beautiful?" They're like, oh, "Don't you have like all these things?" And I'm like, "No, it's a man, literally it's, computer it's literally a computer, a yeah, microphone, well. and us." Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, probably non golf would be Taco Bell, um, or like or like a car, a car, a, car would be you know. Although you could say golf and cars kind of go hand in hand, like golf and watches kind of do. Yeah. Um, so maybe not a car. I guess non-golf would be Taco Bell. I think that definitely fits your... For me, yeah. That or like a tequila sponsorship. That'd be kind of cool too. I don't know with who. Um, remember that bottle I bought for us mm-hmm. and then we never drank? That's some very good tequila. Yeah, you have a sip and you left it here. I know you should have. I should have. I, I took a shot hours. with my dad the other day. Did you? It's very good. How's he doing? drunk right now no <laughs> <laughs> um okay so yeah my name is derek obviously uh started safe park golf several years ago uh i will say that the last time i was a 10.3 handicap uh but i have been very bad about entering my scores given the fact that i haven't really played a whole lot of golf most of my golf has been scramble events would so. that make you a sandbagger no not necessarily a sandbagger would be somebody who like suck really bad on purpose so they can like up their handicap Got it. so they have a better chance of like if they get a, a bogey on a hole that's really like a par oh. so it's like the higher your handicap is the better you can sandbag so there's always like in a scramble you'll have one guy who's like dude just sucks terribly yeah so we can use it. yeah so um but i would say it's not very accurate or super accurate just because i haven't played a whole lot of golf this this past year um and I probably spent thousands of dollars playing golf, and I don't really miss it, even though the money would be nice. But, you know, um, golf is an amazing uh, – it's a therapeutic sport, so I don't I don't think it's uh, it's cheaper than therapy in general, I think, over time. And I think it depends. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you and I were pretty mellow golfers. Like, the only time you would get upset is you go, no, Derek. And I'm like, God, I wish I had that shot. <laughs> yeah, I, I just – 
No, I love it. Um, I would say one of my walk-up songs would be El Rey by Mr. Fernandez himself. I love that song. It's it's a pretty popular song now. I know Canelo. It's his walkout song. Um, and like Dom said, yeah, I'm super bummed that we weren't invited to play in the Creator Classic. I get it. We're nowhere near on their level, but I think so, it would be pretty good entertainment. Are you more bummed out you're not we're not playing in the Creator Classic? Or are you more bummed out that we weren't even invited to the hybrid thing? That's that was in our in our home state. You know, like a half hour from us. Yeah, that's 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 a little disappointing. However, I was in Dallas anyway, so I was here. You were here, yeah. I would have played. Uh, I would have put out for Team Safe Far, and I could have played with Chaz. Chaz is the unofficial third guy, right? Um, but yeah, no, I um, you know, maybe next year, uh, outside of the 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 Instagram, I will say too, I've been pretty uh, those last few weeks have been a little burnt out social media wise, so I've been kind of a little behind on that. Which I mean sometimes i think about like i don't want to put something on social media to be like hey i'm gonna take a break and sometimes i just kind of like take a break without really saying yeah, you take just a kind break. of disappeared i've been kind of disappeared a little bit and I know, the it's, group it's, chat you're so behind i'm so behind i've seen some of the stuff come up but it's like it's hard to explain but sometimes you almost get like paralyzed you're like dude i don't even just want to even it's nothing against you guys because i love the group chat but it's just in general it's like i love the group chat more than i love social media to be honest it's almost better to have the group chat yeah. than actually just posting regularly. But uh, you uh, know what the funny part is, ever since Ralph came to Minnesota, he texts me now. Like outside their group chat, outside Instagram, he'll text me. Nice. And I'm like, are we dating? Like, you said you were single before, but I don't know. I'm secretly dating, dating Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Even but, though he's married. But I'll get back into it. I said it's just been uh, it's been a little crazy uh, these last few weeks. Um, and then yeah, married have uh, don't have any kids. Have a little dog as you've heard I, on the podcast. I thought this is how I was going to learn that you had a kid. Yeah, we have actually one coming now. Oh fuck! Um, but in any wow. case, that's a little bit about me. Um, yeah, we've had a really awesome year so well, far. Well, you that's asked cool me stuff. what outside of golf, who do you want to sponsor? I kind of mentioned I mean, you before. Said, I would you, say Chipotle. Said Chipotle um, but... And the main reason for that is obviously we've discussed this before, but that's where I met my wife, and it's a special place in my heart. So, and I love Chipotle, regardless people don't like it or right. love it. I I've just always enjoyed it. Um, but I kind of like the car idea. That would be pretty cool. It'd be kind of weird to like we're just sitting in a back seat of a car with a freaking podcast with the or the computer. Why, why would we have to sit in the back? Well, I feel like you have more room in the back seat. That's fair. Plus, if you you can like prop up the like the laptop like on the actual so like hump this of the uh car. I've been, I've been looking at cars yeah and there's a Mercedes a Mercedes a Mercedes that I'm kind of into yeah. and it has you know what jump seats are oh, I can't see that I don't so know. jump seats uh, they're a little bit older I don't know why this press the button to shoot you straight up I fucking wish ejecto seat okay <laughs> um basically they're jump seats so it's it's a wagon very mean mm-hmm. and. Basically, it's like a third row that you pull, but they face out the back of the car. Ah. So instead of facing out the front windshield oh, like the so other seats the back, they see backwards. That's how we should do the podcast. See, so yeah, I'd, I'd be down with that. Pop the freaking uh, yeah. gate up or the, the, the lift gate. The lift gate. Yeah. Heck yeah. That'd be sweet. Um, but yeah, no, that's it's cool. That's cool that you thought of, thought of that. I think it's kind of nice to probably mention who we are most of the guys that listen i feel like they know us but it is nice to kind of mention for anyone who is well yeah and we get new fans like every week i'm sure and you know sending us all sorts of fan mail i mean we get that a lot i wish i mean the ones that do i block (laughs) (laughs) Uh, but you know we uh we we will have a cool guest on next week um excited for that one um as we are actually a sponsor of the company so we'll have or they a sponsor of us? They're a sponsor of us, I think. Really. Yeah, but uh, it goes hand in hand. Yeah. So, we like their stuff. So we'll have them on next week. This week, kind of rock and solo again. Um, FedEx Cup last tournament of the year here. Uh, the winner of the FedEx Cup playoffs will get the twenty five million dollars in bonus money, plus obviously the tournament money. Um, and right now, let's just kind of get into it. Right now, we had so we have uh, obviously Scotty Scheffler, who's kind of the favorite um at plus 120 for odds to win he's leading uh then you have xander shoffley like those two have had such a crazy year together yeah i feel like they're kind of 1a 1b mm-hmm. like i feel like if scotty didn't win all of these xander would yeah and and ludwig he's been amazing uh rory he's tied for six so there's plenty of uh plenty of uh golfers that are pretty close um so do you pay attention to this kind of stuff um 
I should pay attention more. I will say I watched a little bit of the event last week where uh, Keegan ended up winning, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. Of what we want to talk about that as well. Um, but I will say the FedEx Cup play- playoffs, I feel like there needs to be some sort of change. I mean, it's, there's a lot of money involved. But, but it, it still... feels very, I don't want to say boring. Well, it's like after the after the fourth major, yeah. it kind of is like golf is over. Yeah, yeah. And we're like looking forward to the next major next year. So I feel like they need to somehow shift. And and there, people probably really do like it, which I'm not saying it's bad. But I do think that there yeah. needs to be some sort of change to make it a little So a little my fun. favorite thing is, I don't know, I, I like to fuck with Greg mm-hmm. quite a bit because Greg loves Rory. Oh, yeah. I think Rory is kind of a bitch. Um, I like Rory. And he's like, yeah, well, Rory run the FedEx. I was like, I am a UPS guy. I don't care. <laughs> But then, but then that leads to like my point. Like nobody cares about the FedEx Cup, unfortunately, other than the players because they get a ton of money if they win. Um, you know, obviously, you know, you work all year, you you get these points to for the seedings and everything, and it it's just like they work so hard for like nobody to care. Yeah, like I said, it would be cool if they did something. I like the three like tournament stretch. So like there's three events and this is the final event mm-hmm. here at East Lake. Um, but I would agree. I think the four majors are the main events. And then obviously the Ryder Cup when it's here mm-hmm. or the President's Cup, those kind of events are obviously very popular. But it's still happen every year, obviously. But yeah, for a lot of money, I mean, the $25 million bonus for the player who wins the FedEx playoff cup is that's a, that's a, that's a lot of money so i have an idea i want to hear it. what do we got so you know like we should rework this mm-hmm. so i've always felt like the masters shouldn't be like the first major i feel like it should be the last major so what you could do you could just move them all up one and then the masters would be the end but you do the masters after the fedex cup and maybe make the fedex cup like the all-star game where like you know you win maybe you get seating or you know what i mean sure like obviously my idea is not super thought out not a surprise to anybody um but that would at least make it interesting and then you end the year on a bang by winning the green jacket and then you kind of because to me it's like everybody hopes for the masters you know we all enter the masters we all look forward to it why not make it the final and do it with a bang, and then you have to look forward to it again. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't be opposed to that. I do, I do like it being the first major of the year. I feel like it gets like that right during Easter time. I just think for it, as but... prestigious as it claims to be and as high as people hold it, why not make it the last one to end on a bang? Like, I, I definitely see what, you know, you're saying, like, hey, let's start the year off with a bang. Why not ended on a super exciting note and then you that like anticipation for the next year is even bigger sure yeah i think there's definitely i don't know if that would ever happen which would be i said i'm not necessarily opposed to it but it's um i mean make me the commissioner and it'll happen (laughs) uh i mean (laughs) think about it too like there's not a lot of we might have had this conversation a while but i don't think there there isn't a lot of sports that have like like the Daytona 500, for mm-hmm. example, it's the first major race of the year. I didn't know that. Yeah, most most majors or events typically happen at the end of the year, like you were saying. Yeah. So, like your Super Bowl, you know, your championship, exactly. they're they're here versus like right in the beginning. So just, I just feel like I just feel like if the FedEx Cup is the championship, you know, the 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 Super Bowl, the World Series, whatever the fuck the MLS people play for, this is the worst one. Because there's no anticipation, there's no hype, there's there's nothing. It's like I forgot about it. I thought it happened already, to be honest with you. There definitely needs to be some sort of change. And I think for the hardo golf fans, like really, really hard, like I feel like people still follow it like re- religiously. But I will say that once kind of one once the majors are over, I feel like golf kind of almost I don't want to say feels like it's over. Mm-hmm. But I feel like they I would be interested to see what the ratings are from mm-hmm. like after the after the made fourth major yeah. versus like during the you know the fast yeah. stuff. Or maybe maybe not like that, but like maybe the um because isn't there an event like right before the ma- the majors, the masters, isn't it like the Sony? The Sony classic 
is I think it's still the Sony Classic. That's yeah, in January or February. That's usually in Hawaii. Yeah. But the the biggest event before um before the Masters would be in February, and that would be the Waste Open Management. That's right. So I'd like to see the ratings for that versus like the FedEx Cup. I like the FedEx Cup idea. I do but too. I feel I, like there needs to be some way to kind of like spruce it up a little. I bit. like the idea of playing all season and earning points for something. Yeah. I just hate that that something doesn't feel like it matters. Mm-hmm. You know, for sure. It would like to me. It does feel like an all star game where you know these are the best of the best. You know, they're not voted on by your peers like you would an all star game or by the fans. They're voted on by how well they played, which is fine. I think that's what an all star game should realistically be. Because there's lots of players in MLB that get snubbed every year. Griffin Jacks had a sub two ERA and was not an all star. Yeah, a lot of those small market teams or just. But anyways, yeah. like to me, this like I don't want to say the FedEx Cup doesn't matter because there's quite a lot of money on the line. Lot, yeah, but it's one of those things where it's like I feel like you know the waste management open might be more fun to watch or more yeah. hyped up or like I love the players. And that's not even a major. That's my favorite event every year is the players. I'm more excited for the players than I am the Or they could the make this a major championship. Yeah, event. yeah, like, make it the fifth major. This would be your, because there is considered a fifth major at, was it the uh, Players' Championship? I think they consider it the fifth major. I like that one, yeah. yeah. But I, I would say if they well, could move hold on, this. Hold on. We have to honor it for Brendan. We know the, we know the fifth major is... Uh, are we talking the his, RBC? Yeah, yeah, the RBC Heritage Classic. Yep. Canada. Don't yell at us. Not that Brendan listens to us, because I don't think he does. But we'll make him listen. He to this can't one. listen to us, mm-hmm. or he can't yell at us now. But I, I would say, like, if we could transition into a fifth major and really like emphasize it as yeah. a major championship, I just think, I think, it, I think the possibilities there. I mean, the field is, it's so good. Well, you play for points, mm-hmm. so. Well, that's what I mean. Like it's 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 definitely it's essentially an all star game. Mm-hmm. But they're competing to be the winner. But is like, is it the winner to win the twenty five million? And mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Versus like where like you talk about live to PGA Tour, or most of the guys the PGA Tour that stayed stuck around to have the history behind mm-hmm. all the championships. So it's like if you can transition this to be like an actual major championship mm-hmm. and say, hey, let's let's. Let's build us around being the fifth final major. Yeah. Versus... I guess another issue I have with this is like, so I think we all know who the player of the year is. Uh, It's tough to say. I mean, you'd say either Scotty or Xander. Right. You could kind of. It's probably Scotty. Like, let's. I think he, got... I think actually he did get voted player of the year, I think. So like that makes this like not even matter then. Because it's like the winner doesn't become player of the year. It like, it doesn't, it's just like another way that it doesn't feel like it matters. I mean, to me, it has to be Scotty or Xander, you know, one or two. Mm-hmm. But if you look at who's done more this year, it's uh, it should be yeah, champion yeah. golfer of the year with Scotty, which makes yeah. sense. But Xander could have gone. But I agree. I think that I think that's the best way to do it. Is you're gonna you'd spin it up as being the fifth major of the year, and it's and it would be cool as a fifth major of the year because it's not just one tournament. You've worked yourself up. This to yeah, earn points. You could flip to... it to be this is. The tournament, right? Because the winner gets 25 mil. Green jacket, gold jacket, who gives a shit? Make it a pink jacket exactly. or whatever color yeah. FedEx is. An orange issue. Or, I orange don't know. I have been anything with FedEx purple, for a long time. Purple and orange. But, but that's kind of what, what I What a weird, what a weird, like, Clemson color. Mm-hmm. So, um, anyway, with that being said, who's your pick to win? I mean, obviously, you got Scotty uh, and and Xander one and two right now. I mean, I I know you and I have talked about it off the air, but like Scotty winning everything just kind of made it not fun for me this year because I always love when the guy comes out of nowhere and just smashes everything. But as soon as Scotty tees it up, you're like, he you know he's gonna win. Um, I'd like to see it be Xander, just because I'm more of a Xander fan yeah. than I am a Scotty fan. I think what Scotty has done this year rivals stuff that you know Tiger's done. I'm not saying that he's better than Tiger, but he's on a he's, he's an incredible run. He's on a I don't want to say once in a lifetime run, but the fact that that run could still keep going 
is crazy. Yep. Um, I'd love to see it be a young guy too, whether that's like Colin or whoever, because we're looking at that beautiful picture of Colin. Yeah, put his face on there. But yeah, he's, I mean, he's tied for six. I, I honestly, it should be Scotty, but I wouldn't be mad if it goes Andrew. Okay. I also don't, I'm not a huge fan of Scotty. So, like, in general, I don't really care. I know he's a golf sweetheart currently, and he's the fun, easy pick for a lot of people. But there's other players that I find myself just being a bigger fan of. Sure. Nothing wrong with him, though. I mean, he's a hell of a player. Yeah. Crazy swing, but he's clutch. Hell of a player. Yeah. Uh, and I've also heard he's like the nicest guy. That's the thing. It's because someone was saying who's actually someone was saying when Tiger was on his run that Tiger was just like a dick, and it was like don't talk to me, like I, which makes sense, right? Very in the zone. Yeah. I've heard Scotty will blow you out of the water and then just like ask to take you to dinner later. That sounds like a Scotty yeah. Scheffler move for sure. And then he'll put you in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. Did you hear about that? The the police officer that arrested him. Um, one of the police officers that was involved in that got arrested because he didn't have his body cam on. Oh, shocker. Yeah, is that kind of wild? I love that that's the reason he got arrested. I mean, that, that's what I read in the headline, whether or not that's there's, there's additional information. I'm not sure. Power tripping. Yeah. Um, Lydia Cole, she's on an incredible run, or she's, yeah, she she took home the gold medal at uh, the Olympic Games in Paris, and then she just won the Women's British Open at St. Andrews. This is her third uh, major uh and she's only 27 years old, and she's also eligible for the golf 2024 Golf Hall of Fame. So, I mean, how? I I, I was trying to look into that as far. I think it's just like you're nominated to be into the Golf Hall of Fame because she's uh, like 27 years old. So I mean, she's got I'm, plenty of golf. I was saying, I imagine yeah. she's not like hanging it up yet. So she's won three majors. I think it's been eight years they said since she's won her last major. But I mean, damn, to win a major at 19 is crazy. And then, although it's like Michelle Wee, and then she, yeah, then wins a gold medal like a few weeks ago. So mm-hmm. I mean, that's uh, kudos to her. That's it's really cool to see. Um, and then uh, just a couple more things here, as far as because we're gonna talk about the career classic, we want to go through some picks. But after the Ryder Cup takes place, twenty twenty five, that's at Beth Page Black Course in New York, which I'd love to play. That that's the one that has the sign on it. It's like if you're a certain handicap, then don't even attempt to play it. Could I be able to play it? We could, that's what I'm saying. We could try, mm-hmm. but I think it's like for like five and below. Close think, enough. But yeah, I'm close same enough. Thing. I mean, two, 14, three, five. Look at, look at. The best part is we met in math class and neither of us can do math. <laughs> yep. So very basic math. Close enough. I mean, 14, five. Yeah. You know, technically my 18 birdie says I'm a 12. There we go. It, it, it's close to five. You know, it's it's close to 10 and five is <laughs> double that or half of that. <laughs> uh, Keegan Bradley. You know, he just won uh, the event last week for the FedEx, FedEx Cup playoffs. Um, so he's still in it uh, this week. He's 38 years old. He'll be the youngest captain for the United States in quite some time. Um, and he still has a chance to actually, he realistically could play in the Ryder Cups. And that was uh, the last time a player that was a captain played was back in 63, Arnold Palmer. Um, it sounds like there's a chance that he's probably not going to pick himself to play in it. Wait, the captains normally don't play? No, they're basically... Why am I just learning about this? Yeah, the captain usually is basically just the captain and makes the picks and then obviously picks who's matched up during the event. Interesting. Yeah. I, th- I always thought the captain played. Because most of them are older. So that's why, like, Keegan isn't the youngest, I don't think. He's just the youngest in recent years. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, at 38 years old. And he's still playing good golf. I mean, he just oh, won yeah. the event. Um, so I thought I had read that this is his first win in like 10 years because I wanted to talk about like big long droughts in golf and then I was upset that you ruined that for me I debunked it yeah Um, I think he's had so I know he won last year and obviously he just won last week Uh, but I I mean there was a run though that there was a time that he wasn't I mean he was making money and earning stuff but Mm -hmm. he wasn't he wasn't good it's not that he wasn't good. He just wasn't winning events. And now it's, I don't know if he's he had like this resurgence and he's been pretty relevant, which is cool to see. And he's a Jordan guy, which is awesome. Yeah. He's always got some cool Jordan shoes on. Uh, I think he's one of the original Jordan one guys. Of the, yeah, I would say him and probably um, Perez. Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, Pat Perez. Um, oh, there's an Indian. No, he's not Indian. Varner, Harold Varner. Oh, Harold Varner. Yep, he's definitely. I think there is an Indian guy, though, who wears them. Jordan's, sure. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, Varner was one of the first. One of the first, yeah. yeah. So that would be pretty wild to see as far as the Ryder Cup. And then there's also, I don't have, I should I should have looked it up, but 2029, the Ryder Cup is coming back to Hazeltine. Are we going? Heck yeah. Which we just hosted the Am- the, the Amateur. Pro Amateur. Yeah. yeah, that was really cool to see. Uh, I didn't see it live. I should have, but um, watched a little bit of it on TV. Uh, but I think there's a, I have to double check, but I think we're one of the few courses at Hazeltine speaking as in like, it's our course, but like home course. Um, Not even our home course. No, I just meant like, it's we, we just live state. here. Yeah. 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 Uh, but it's one of the few that have hosted multiple times, like within a certain time range. Cause oh, I think no. we had it in 2016 here. Yeah. So, which is really cool. Again, kind of just saying, like, dude, the Midwest golf is – there's some good golf here. Do you think we'll be doing the podcast in five years? Oh, I think you say 20. Oh, that is five years. Yeah. God, one of us is good at math. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking um, because the Ryder Cup is next year at in New York, and for some reason – so the President's Cup would be in two years after that, so 2027, 2029. Hopefully we'll have, like, a multi-year deal by that time, full-on studio. Yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah. Um, speaking of that, let's transition into the Creator Classic, which is presented by Blackstone. It's basically 16 participants Participants that have, I, I don't know who invited them. I'm assuming it was through Probably the PGA. Probably Blackstone. Yeah, just, it, was through the PGA, <laughs> it was through the PGA Tour. So they're hosting the event. I believe this, uh, I have it pulled up here. I should, should have it. And I want to go through the list, but I believe they are competing. I mean, it's on the PGA Tour website. Yeah, and you can watch it on the PGA Tour. Um, and there's also other there's other um, media outlets that are going to be hosting. I think it's going to be on, T, uh, on uh, YouTube, Peacock, yeah, ESPN Plus. So I definitely want to tune in for that. I think it's really cool that mm-hmm. they're doing that. Um, that's going to take place Wednesday, August twenty eighth at four p.m. So till and tomorrow, that's, and that's tomorrow. Yep, and that's Eastern. So. Um, there's 16 participants and I have them listed here. I want to kind of just give a quick rundown. And basically what we're going to do is kind of told down that I wanted him to pick one who he thinks is going to win. And then one that he, he would like to see win. So we'll go around and listen. We can kind of talk about them briefly if we have mm-hmm. a little bit of uh, familiarity with them. So the first one is Mac Butcher, Boucher. I totally butchering that. No pun intended. He might be Boucher. Yeah. I don't... He's, he's from Canada. Canada. Yep. And he's, uh, I'm sure people have heard of him. I posted several of his videos. He's he's a he, lefty, and he's got some really cool. He's hurt though. He is hurt. Yeah. He even said he's like, put me down for at least a 45. So don't bet on me. That's what I'd be pumped to shoot a 45. Right. Like I, on it, TV too. On is national it, is television. It, is it like nine holes or what? So it's nine holes. I was reading. Dude, if I shot a 45 in nine holes, I'd be pretty thrilled. <laughs> on TV with the pressure, like, come on. So it says, so 16 of this is, this is via the PGA tour. Cause I was reading through it earlier, but 16 of the best content creators in Atlanta, which is at East Lake where the FedEx play, play uh, FedEx playoff cup is, that's a tongue twister for me. It, they're competing this week. Mm-hmm. So that's where they're at, but they're on the back nine of the new layout of the course. And they're going to compete over eight holes of gross stroke play followed by a one hole playoff on number 18 hmm. between the top four courses or top four scores, excuse me. So it's kind of a weird concept kind of neat though but i like it and i think it's so cool i think the pga tour is doing something very forward thinking it is cool to bring in these these guys and no not guys but you know these people because there are women content creators these these creators who are growing the game that have millions of followers that you know are all over especially since you're always like damn who's the best youtube golfer and and that i will say that is you know Something that I really like that the PGA Tour is doing. They're taking advantage of, I don't say taking advantage, but they're kind of forward thinking yeah. as far as plot twists. You and I are the best YouTubers. <laughs> um, but you know, like the Live Golf PGA Tour, the back and forth, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Well, they're actually doing something very cool and unique, which I, I really like that. I will say, um, you know, going through this list, you, know, you, you, you and I talked about yeah, it. Yeah, it's not quite fair. So the next golfer um, is George Bryan. Um, with brian bros who's very cool dude i like george so do i yeah um and then obviously you have wesley brian his brother who's also part of brian bros golf and they are both overqualified to be here they they're content creators they are are definitely content creators but i will say wesley brian has won an event a pga tour event i believe and i know that they were on the corn ferry tour for a while so i feel like that's a little bit of an advantage 
Yeah, they have that pressure that they already know about. And they're they're considered. I mean, they've played in pro. They're event. very good golfers. Um, Amy Cho. I'm not too familiar with her. Her ad is golf with Amy A I M E E. Um, but she uh she's a big TikTok. Maybe that's why she has more followers on TikTok. She's got like, or no, excuse me, that's uh, YouTube subscribers. She's got a lot of YouTube. I was saying, she's definitely. I thought it was at one point one million, but um, oh. so she's got a lot of YouTube subscribers um so i'm not too familiar with her but again i like how they're spreading it out there's yeah. females and males in this event which i think is really cool um number five is a very popular pick and pretty much everyone knows him that's garrett clark with good good who started good good mr good good mr good good i know who he is yep and then we have brett Mister would send you videos back yeah in the day. back in the day yep yep um and then Brad Dalkey, who's also part of the Good Good team. He's a new word to them, but he I've heard he might be the best golfer with Good Good. Okay. Is how the people in Good Good I've talk been, about him. Sure. Yeah. Um I only know that because I kept up with their major and they would always play by handicap and he always had the lowest. Gotcha. Granted, handicap doesn't mean anything. Yeah. But they... He was he's very good. Sure. Um, I'm number seven. You're not familiar. You don't know who Peter Finch is? I, I if I looked him up, I probably would. Oh, but you was... probably know. He does a lot of stuff with um. He's British. Uh, he does a lot of stuff with um. I'm blanking on his name. Yeah, you've seen Peter before. Okay, I have seen him. Mm-hmm. So. Um, yeah, so he's the seventy third most influential person in golf. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's going to be participating. Um, Gabby Golf Girl, she puts out a lot of content too. Um, so she's going to be competing. She does a lot of like trick shots. Mm-hmm. Um, Luke Kwan, uh, formerly of Good Good. I was going to say he was part of Good Good. I yes. think at one time, right? Yeah, yep. and then he wanted to do like his own, own stuff. stuff. Yeah. Mike Morris, he's a pretty popular guy. He was a part of. Good, good. I think it was like it was good, good. Him and um, because he's Garrett's cousin. Is he really? Yeah, I didn't know that was his cousin. Yeah, but he's he's a he's pretty big now as well. I mean, he has been pretty popular. Yeah, he for a got while. Garrett into golf. Okay. Yeah, he's. I mean, Mike is. I think he's a stud. Well, I think he's almost made the PGA. I yeah, I know he's, he's been playing in events. To yeah, kind of, uh, yeah, I've seen qualify. That. Uh, Mason Nutt with Busted Jack. I don't know who that one is. That's the only one that I'm like never heard of. I think he's kind of a taller, bigger guy, and he's done some cool, like, trick shot stuff. He does a lot of – he was nice. a collegiate golfer. Um, and then Fat Perez with Bob Does Sports. I'm actually excited to – I think that's well, – what we'll talk about that more. But I will. he was, like, a D3 college golfer, and then he was – in a. Uh, I think he was in accounting. And then – I've heard the story. He, yeah. he, like, messaged Bob while they were on vacation. He's like, hey – you want to come play and Bob or invite somehow they or got invited. Person. Sure. Sure. And Bob's like, I love this dude. And then they played again and again and again. And, and now he's, he's yeah. like, boom. so he's a cool, I think everybody loves fat Perez. I think if we were to hold a, uh, a poll, we think he'd probably be one of well, the top it, to see who I, they thought I, would like to or the next one. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um, number 13 here. And again, this isn't necessarily like in the best, uh, this is just the random list. They have it here. Um, but the next one is Paige Speronic, I think. Most people are familiar with her. Um, she was a or her uh... training videos. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Assets. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, she takes a, she takes a lot of. She's a lot of, very good. She's very good. She, she takes a lot. Of, it wasn't she like a professional? She was. I don't know. I would say she was technically a professional golfer. I don't think she was ever on the LPGA tour, but she She's played on a lot of uh, good. Yeah. she's very good like aside from her being just beautiful and gorgeous she's a hell of a golfer and i think people forget that people bash her because they oh she's showing blah 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 but it's like she found an so does to... so does like half the other women golfers yeah. whether it's you know what i mean like yeah she well she's a good golfer she found a niche and it's not like she's like she's also doing like instructional videos to like yeah you know i, I mean i'm sure they're helpful i don't know i tend not to watch instructional things because it always freaks me out because i'm yeah. like what am i doing wrong uh the next person here is probably one of our favorites i would say um that's gonna be roger Steele yeah. himself so he's uh he's been around for the golf in the golf space he's for roger a while. Steele. Yeah, if you don't know who roger Steele is i don't yeah, know what, what to tell you doing? um and then tyler tony who's from dude perfect um dude perfect he's gonna get he's gonna get smoked 
and their shit routes. And then we have another uh, a good, good uh, Sean Walsh. I don't know who that is. I'm not too familiar with him as, uh, either. I'm not sure. There's a lot of good, good guys in here. I'm surprised because like, I wasn't playing in this. I know Fat Perez, obviously, but Bob's kind of the main guy in that. But I feel like it's like a personality. I don't think Bob's as good, though. No, he's not. <laughs> and I think he would admittedly say that, but Sean Wallace, I don't know who that is. Let's look that up. So, with that being said, there's 16 players in this event. Um, and I think they're playing this? straight up from from my from what I was reading. I have never seen this guy. Is that the right? Yeah, yeah, because that's that's the my good good. Huh. Maybe he's a newbie, just joined or something. The newest good good member. Yeah, that was in July. So. Well, it's Blake and then Melosi are the two new guys. Oh, okay. This dude, if you ever followed him, yep, yep. stud. Yep. Like, absolutely. He, short dude, big guy. It just, yeah, it hits, swing too. just hits that ball. So, I want you to pick who you think is going to win and then who you would like to see win. So, I always get the Wesley bros mixed up. So, hold on while I Google them quick because I know, I know which one I want. Wesley's probably more the fan favorite, and uh, no disrespect to George, but I think he's just more well known. Oh, that's what I mean. I the Brian Bros. Yeah, one of them has a great mustache. It's George. Okay. Give me George. George. Okay, so that's who you think's gonna win. That's who I want to win. Oh, you want to see George? Okay. Yeah, I want to see George. Okay. Um, the one glasses mustache combo, killer. Okay. That I'm just if he's not wearing the mustache or glasses. Then fuck you, George. <laughs> don't know what to tell you yeah, go page yeah. um who i would think will win it's so hard because it feels so wide open and i think it's just because i know and i've heard of most of these i could definitely see brad Dalkey winning um maybe luke okay because the good good guys are you know contrary to belief Good. I will say that most of the golfers that there was a, I was trying to find the the list that I uh, pulled up earlier, but it had like most of their handicaps, mm-hmm. and they're all kind of like from three point five to like five. Mm-hmm. But they're all the brother Wesley Bros though that didn't have it because they're locker. Yeah, so they're obviously like so that was the other reason why I kind of like okay. a little bit of a disadvantage. But they could have a bad day. You never know. Um, so you're gonna go with Luke Kwan? No, I'm gonna go Brad. Brad, Brad, Brad. Lucky. Okay. Yeah. So I think I think Brad could win it. I'd like to see George. George Bryant. Okay. I am gonna say I that being said, I'd love to see like one of the ladies mm-hmm. just wipe the floor with everybody. That'd be pretty cool. I agree. Um I I would like to see Roger Steele win it. Just because you know we got we the know, media right, yeah. and we you know had him on the podcast. I think it'd be really cool. Um, he was like really like intense. Yeah. too he's like he's like intense but like in a yeah way. yeah i was like i'm not gonna say it he's like you should say it i'm yeah. like i'm not gonna say it. i'm like he's like say it and i'm like okay <laughs> do i get a pass uh who i think is gonna win i mean i probably think wesley bryan is probably gonna win it yeah. that's kind of a like given so i don't really want to pick that because again um i'm gonna say i'm gonna say garrett garrett yeah yeah because i mean he's just all, all these guys are all kind of in the same ballpark yeah, and there's not there's not a bad player no. on this list. I, I'm excited to actually watch it. I'm not saying I'm gonna watch the whole thing, but I'm definitely gonna tune in for a little bit. Oh yeah. And I would say if I was a combination raw uh raw uh um steel, I would say Pat Perez too. Because it'd be cool, I, I'm yeah. curious to see who gets paired up. So I'm assuming they're gonna probably ride a card to be two two. I want Paige and Fat Perez together. I think that would be funny. I would split the brothers up. Yeah. Although for the content, I might put them together to see if they game plan against Start each other. Crap. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's kind of all that I have cooking for this week. Um, which I mean, it's about a forty-five minute episode. Well, here. the good news yeah. is I bought trail mix. Oh yes, yeah. and I was gonna say something earlier. I'm like, dude, this is staring at me, and I'm freaking kind of stressed. I know I've been smelling it. So Dom Dom. Got... So ever since we did the taste testing stuff, I've been like looking for stuff for Derek and I to taste test. Go ahead, hold that up, Sean. Or that. There you go. So this is churro inspired trail mix from Target. Um, so you want to read what's in it? Yeah. Um, we don't have any allergies here. With uh, hold on, do you have any allergies? No. Okay. I should have checked before I dumped it. Just bowl in yeah, front of I'm us. Freaking freaking out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um. So this is a trail mix with honey roasted cashews, churro seasoned corn sticks, honey cinnamon almonds, chocolate chunks, and churro flavored cookies. 
I was sold. Like it's smelling pretty good. Mm -hmm. It says it's supposed to serve seven. Bullshit. That's like one of us. That's me. Yeah. I don't know what portion those are uh, for them. They're not. They don't know that. No, I mean, kill that whole bag. Um, all right, you dig in, you purchased it, so and you brought it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of everything, okay? So, should be what? Oh, or five why is that four. soft? Well, uh, unless it's a soft cookie, so it should be your cashew, uh, corn stick, an almond, a chocolate chunk, and a cookie. That that's not an almond. So I'll just... Oh, right there, that's an almond. Okay, so I have yep. cashew. Almond, cookie, chocolate, corn? Yep. Is that everything? Yep. Should be one, two, three, four, five? What do you get? Six. Five, right? Yep. Is that five? Yep. 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 Chocolate. Oh, that's the yeah, chocolate's got the why is the chocolate so solid? Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, I mean, I'm this still gonna cookie. go down the same. Oh, no, that's actually that's what I missed. Couldn't find I the got, almond. I got you don't have an almond. No. Oh, there it is. Here. Okay. Okay, we're good. Are you just going to just toss them in? Fuck yeah. Let them go. You ready? Right, cheers. Take here we go. I'm in. It's a good combination. Was there anything that you would add or suggest? Um, I'm trying to think if there's something there, like that's good. It was really good. I don't know. It tastes like something I've had before. I was I've had churros. Yeah, so you can definitely like. I almost want to try just the cookie. Yep. Yeah. That's good. It's almost like salty. It is kind of like a like a salty cinnamon cookie. That's good. Mm-hmm. Very good. It is weird that the chocolate chip is a little mushy. Yeah, I thought it was like just mine. Soft. I figured it would be like a kind of like oh, a... that one's real soft. What should I a piece of poop? <laughs> I still ate it. Oh, we're just eating on friggin' cam here. Oh, I don't care. They can pay to watch. <laughs> okay, so down down, pick this up. This week, we're gonna have a guest on next week, but that's good. Maybe after the episode, or for our next episode that we have together, or again, we can clip it in afterwards. What would be the next food of choice that you guys like just to pick up? I'll pick up something this next time. Yeah, and then we could sample it. Yeah, so, I mean, that's tasty. Very good. So whether it's uh, I hope Greg sends a skyline chili. Whether it's like a certain like weird thing of chips, like crack, whatever it is, or something. Crack? We doing crack? No, I was just say crackers. <laughs> There's something in these. Like, man. There's something in these. Like, we doing crack yeah. on camera? Mm-hmm. Is that legal? Mm-hmm. We're sponsored. Like crack? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah! No specific brand. That's the best golf non golf sponsorship I've ever had. <laughs> crack. So, um, yeah. If there's anything that you want us to try, minus black licorice. Yeah. Fuck you, Jordan. I'm still pissed. No, we don't want that. But my dad ate it all on his way up to the cabin. He was like, I love it. And I was like, great, because I'm not buying it. I'm glad ever. somebody enjoyed it. Yeah, I didn't. No, that's. I think that's the wrap. Um, I'm excited to see the Creator Classic, though. Yeah, no, it'll be fun. I like that it's like nine holes. I think 18 and they all struggling would be fun to watch. Yeah. But I think nine is pretty spot on. I think playing it. 18 would be more ideal because, like, I get going later on in the round. I usually don't do well for the first two or three holes. Right. Yeah. But the fact that, like, you kind of tune in, it's not going to be a very long. Although, in my defense, I don't warm up. You're kind of the same way. Yeah. Um, No, we appreciate you tuning in. And um, it it feels good to be back with Dom Dom here. Last week was crazy busy, but um, we're here. And uh, next week should be a fun one. I'm excited for next week. Oh, yeah. I remember who's on now. Yeah. Yep. That'll be a fun one. Yep. So have a good week. We'll see you soon. Go, Roger.